Wait a minute. Na 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 na. Go man. Open the door. I will not open. You go and open the door. What? You open the door. So as you thought we are going to talk about this bind call and apply in javascript let's start Hi everyone this is Angular Coder and I'm Gaurav your host today for this keyword and understanding call apply and bind how it works in javascript we are going to go through the piece of code which should give an idea to you about what happens with this and it also will give you an idea about how to use call bind and why those things are used in javascript so let's just write a small program here which will have an object and then we'll try to get the values before i code anything in javascript i just want to let you know that watch this video continuously till the end to get a complete picture about this call and apply and bind there are a lot of things to go into and that's why i would request you to watch video till the end also consider subscribing to this channel if you have not done that all right so we have a blank chrome screen and that's where we start So what you saw on the screen is a basically Chrome debugger tool where I'm writing the code and in this thing what we have done is basically have a person object which contains two members of the class and then we have a math function called as get details in that I'm just returning a string created from a string literal where we are inserting variable we can insert variables within the string this mark is above tab button in your keyboard so you can write uh, a basically template kind of which will be converted into a string after it is done so we have this dot first name this dot last name in this case uh, when we are calling person dot get details this keyword is taken as a person the object which is containing first name and the last name it matches something which is present in angular so you have an object and you have a method inside method if you write some this it should point to the object inside which the method is contained but in javascript things go a little bit more crazy so as you can see right now i am sorry for this error but as you can see right now in our, when we call outer method so what we have done is you have a reference of a equals to 2 so if you write c equals to a then the value of c will be 2 right in this case also what we have done is same thing so we had person dot get details that was a method and we added a reference outside the outside the object basically person dot get details we are setting is outer outer method now when we call outer method the peculiar thing is the first name this dot first name and this dot last name is not defined there is a reason to this in javascript there is a reason so let me just write that down in the screen so now you can see where this was coming from so since the outer method is present in global scope right now get details is present inside person that is the scope definition the brackets where within which it is contained so in javascript this is not equal to object reference this is basically equal to you can think about where the things are called from in our case the outer method is called outer method is present in global scope that's why whatever code you have written inside function 
this whatever wherever you have used this inside method that will have global scope as reference now let me show you one more thing inside this so if i use call with the function name so dot call dot bind and dot apply all three are any any function you write in javascript those members will be part of it okay so that is part of prototype but yeah when you are using method name dot call the first parameter which you sent will be directly used as this so consider we had person get details and we were using we were writing this dot first name here when we passed second object as a parameter to call the reference of this in the method changed to second object since we had first name written as lovely and sec last name as singh we got the output as lovely singh the other parameters which we were using age and place were as by default so form second parameter to whatever nth parameter we are we have written basically if you write dot call first thing you have are passing is basically what you want to use this with after that whatever arguments you are passing is basically in the method name in the method declaration whatever you have written age place you have written 10 things you write you have to write 10 things after the this parameter in here this is call you can uh, now let's see apply so we have same thing so now you see same thing is printed here as it was before name is lovely thing and age is 26 place is india same thing is printed here when we use apply apply is almost similar to call right call you can remember as c for call c for comma so with call you are going to pass first of first parameter as the thing which you are going to use inside method method as this then second whatever parameters you are passing are to be provided with commas normal commas but when you are using apply first parameter which you are passing is again which is going to be used inside method as this and whatever second parameters you are passing are to be provided in an array that's the complete difference between call and apply it's just the way you call the method or basically use it 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 has same uh, usage i mean the same effect out of it now you can see that we have get details and as i was saying if you used this inside any of function at any place if you are using apply or call and then passing an object on the first parameter this reference changes to that, that object whichever you are sending as first parameter let's see and last example of uh, bind call and apply was c for comma a for array and then bind is basically what does bind do is you are passing what you want to use this for in this method get details you are it is same as call and apply but instead in call and apply the method is called instantaneously like when we were writing in console.log and then we wrote uh, person.getdetails.call or person.calldetails.apply in that case the method was instantaneously executed but using bind what you do is you set a reference of this inside the function and then you can call that method later point of time it will give you a new copy of method where you know what this will be used for the this keyword what object it is referred referred to will be used to used for in future right now outer bound method is bounded to second object and that is called so that's why you should always think from the point of where the function is called from and then you can determine the value of this these uh, this is the basic rule around this keyword in javascript i keep on creating a lot of videos and uh, every week i post a lot of them thank you see you tomorrow bye bye